Mr. Meredith. Mr. Collins. Week five. We've made it. We've made it. And we make it every week. And we're on time every week. <laughs> we are. Um, so can I ask you, Mr. Meredith, um, this week, do you have any idea what our theme is? Well, I think we're heading towards assessment and study time. Would it be or something around that? You're right. In fact, at Belvedere Park, we manage our assessment time effectively. That's a really important one. Really, really, really important. So, Mr. Meredith, can I ask you, mm -hmm. um, the first part of about assessment, drafting. Mm. Tell me about that. Well, I think drafting is really important, particularly as we go up in our, our schooling career up the years, because our assignments get more detailed, there's more information. And if you're turning in a good draft with an idea of what you want to say and what the assessment's asking you to do, your teacher can give you some really good feedback and yeah. make sure you're going in the right direction. Um, I don't know about you, but how do you find those kids who give you uh, good drafts, how they go in the end? Well, I've got some students, you'll see them on the videos shortly, because I went around the school and spoke to some people, they give me brilliant drafts. Mm. And because they do, you know, they may not be right, but they've given me something that I can comment on. And so when they get their draft back, they do the work, and then they, they come back with an even better result. Yeah, it's all about polishing that final product. Yeah. And Mr. Spirit, can I ask you exams? Mm. How do you study for exams? Oh, I've done quite a few exams in my time. Yeah. Um, I like to look back on the notes that I've taken. Yeah. And um, sometimes I'll have little notes in the margins around, yeah. oh, this is important, you need to know this. Um, sometimes I might also have like a bit of an overview from the teacher or the lecturer who said, this is what our topic's on, you need to know this. So that's where I focus my study. Yeah. I'm not going to learn about how to play European handball if I'm doing a maths exam. I really focus on what I need to do. Yeah. No, very much so. What about you? So what I do is I make notes. So I will get the PowerPoints or the, the, the um, information I'm going to learn, mm -hmm. and I will so make short dot points. And then from that, I make more notes, and I use acronyms to kind of remember the facts in order. Yeah. Because often, you've got to get it in order to make sense. Absolutely. And, and when doing that, organizing, you kind of filter it down and it gets locked in your brain. Yeah. Yeah, really useful. So anyway, we went around the school, as I said. You did. And I've spoken to a couple of students. Who did you speak to? Well, I spoke to some students too, but I spoke to some student teachers. So they're learning how to teach at the moment. And they are under the pump. They've got lots of exams. And they gave us some really good advice around how they study and how they prepare for their exams. Should we have a look? Let's have a listen. What tips or advice do you have for those who have got a few exams or assignments or multiple bits of assessment coming up? So what I do is usually I have a book that has really important stuff and I write down all my assignments, all my exams, when they're due and when I would start that assignment so that I can start it and finish that and then move on to my next one. Be proactive. Don't procrastinate and wait till the last, like the, like, the day before because you need to like get it done earlier so that you don't stress out much. I usually study about a week before and then I just sit down at my desk and then every like probably second night I just go over it again. And what do you use to study? I mean, do you use the, the where do you get your information from? Is it the notes you've made in class or? Um, it's like a combination. It's, I use a lot of what the teachers put out on DMAP and OneNote and also my own notes that I've took in class. Uh, my piece of advice would be to, at the end of each week, make sure that you summarize your notes and um, make sure that you make yourself, you can make yourself quizzes that you can use towards the end of the term just so that it's helpful with revision. And also it's important to have a work-life balance. So making sure that you do a good chunk of work but also take breaks. Um, just make sure you're organized and prepare yourselves for all your assignments and your exams and don't pro procrastinate. Um, just got to make sure that you knuckle down and do the work before it's due because the longer you wait to put it off, the way it's going to be way, way harder. Um, I think a really good way is to work in a group environment and that way you can bounce ideas off each other and even hear it in a different way to what your teacher might have said it and a way that you understand. Wasn't that good? It was really good. I really liked that some people were able to share those honest opinions and, and, and how they might study and also like I didn't realise our prac teachers have got such a high assessment load. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, and for the students as well. Good advice to the school, hey? Mm, they can really take that on board. Yeah. So I believe we've got a special guest who wants to have a chat. Well, Mr. straight off this video, Mr. Carrier is going to speak to you. We have opened up the the pack, but I, I don't want to take Steelers Thunder, he's going to have a special message to the school, so listen after this. So always guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, we'll have a new video next week, and we'll see you then. See you then, cheers guys.
Mr. Carrion. Mr. Meredith. So a special update on what's going on next week and the next few weeks for yeah, the last it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let's hear news. You have something special coming up. Absolutely. Just a quick reminder that on Tuesday this week we have got our PBL sausage sizzle. So if you've cashed in your 50 stamps in class and got yourself a golden ticket, you can come down at first break on Tuesday and get yourself a free snag. And if you haven't cashed them in on already on the day, we might be able to cash some of those stamps in for you so you too can enjoy our sausage sizzle. Great. What's happening? In your space, you got some exciting news as well. It's 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 all it's all happening. It's all happening this week, Thursday at second break in the Performing Arts Center. We are starting up our brand new chill zone. Nice. Okay, so there's going to be a PS4 and a Nintendo Switch nice. on the big screen. There's going to be a table full of board games. You name it: Twister, Jenga, Uno. It's all going to be there. As well as Mr. West has said, we are allowed to have our phones inside the Performing Arts Center. Okay, some of you kids are thinking, well, we can use them outside. Well, here's the kicker: the aircon's going to be on, and anyone who walks through that door is given a raffle ticket. Yeah. And we are going to be drawing prizes every day on the day, so you no longer have to maybe stack up or save up to buy a footy or whatever the prize is. On the day, anyone who comes Thursday, second break. Performing Arts Center from now until the end of the year has a chance to win. Nice. How good is that? That's awesome. Also, check out these posters around school if you need more information. I'll see you there. See you guys.